Now, if you're in the market for advice on how to craft a really compelling professional bio that you can use in a variety of different places like a resume, a social media channel, or a personal website, you've come to the right spot. So in this video, what I'm gonna do for you is help you craft a professional bio that is authentic and engaging, but also concise so that you can send it out to a variety of different people. Now, be sure to stick around to the end as well. I'm gonna share with you an example of a full length written bio that you can use as inspiration if you're really just looking to write your own with some zhuzh and spice up your personal brand. So let's jump right in. There are four key areas that I want you to focus on when you're developing your bio. And the first one is, what do you do? What I want you to do is start out by simply offering your name, your job title, the company that you work for, and then your unique offering. What makes you different? A professional offering might just simply be expertise in a given field or for a product or service that you've worked with in the past, and it can be really good information to use inside of the bio itself. Here are a couple of examples. My name is Alex Drysdale, and I'm a junior web developer for Indeed.com, where I specialize in streamlining user experience for external clients. John Sullivan is a human resources manager at Indeed with a decade of successful experience in hiring and employee management. He specializes in HR technologies and regularly attends national training sessions to showcase new HR tech trends, such as self-service, wellness apps, and people analytics tools. Katie Lee is a PR intern at Indeed with a professional interest in the intersection of brand responsibility and public service. So here's a pro tip. When beginning to write your professional bio, one of the most important things that you can do is keep your audience in mind. Is your audience limited on the amount of time that they have? Or is there a character limit to the platform that you are actually going to be copying and pasting this professional bio into? The ideal length for a professional bio is anywhere between four and eight sentences. Point of view. So I statements are really great for social media profiles to whereas he, she, or they is gonna be better suited for a company website. The use of industry language. If you're using very specific language to maybe the industry that you're a part of, it could get lost on people outside of that. So what I would encourage you to do is think about how you might be able to soften that language so that it's just more available or better or interpreted by a wide variety of audiences. Now, if you're writing for different audiences, it is completely normal and okay to have different versions of your professional bio ready to go. Now, if you're enjoying this video and find it helpful, like and subscribe so that you can join us for more job search advice. And be sure to leave a comment below if you've got any additional questions for us. So writing a short bio is actually very similar to writing a resume. The end goal is to communicate why you're qualified. But what I would love for you to do is, is hone in on things like projects that you've personally worked on, maybe awards or accomplishments that you particularly are really proud of, or any other notable ways in which you've been recognized. It's gonna be a great way for you to then showcase the specific qualifications that you bring to the table. Here are a couple of examples. I graduated from Indeed University in 2016 with a bachelor's degree in software development. Now, while in school, I earned the 2015 Great Student Grant for my exemplary academic performance and leadership skills. And since joining Indeed, I've overseen the development of eight key programs that led to an exceptional boost in user action. As a result of her lifelong passion for education, Christina developed a new curriculum for dual language students that's resulted in a 10% average increase in test scores across the board. And as a result, She's won the Innovative Teacher Award in 2020 and expects to launch an online version program in the next couple of months. An industry professional with eight years of experience working alongside the executive team of a Fortune 500 company, Leslie manages a 40-person sales team that has directly increased company revenue by 15% under his leadership. So here's a pro tip. Aim to communicate your accomplishments in a way that is understandable and readable by a variety of different people. For example, instead of saying that you are an award-winning graphic artist, maybe what you say is, is that you are a multifaceted graphic artist who has won multiple awards for their work. It's also important to make sure that your qualifications are up to date, especially if you are going to be posting this in a public capacity. Your why. So your why is arguably one of the most important parts of your professional bio because it's really going to communicate why it is that you do what you do. Now, if you're not really sure where to start with this, or if you're trying to draft some inspiration as to the type of answer that you want to provide, all you have to do is simply ask yourself, why do I care about my job? Or why do I find meaning in this? When you're able to draft an answer like that, that is spoken with conviction and with pride and even with a little bit of joy, it's just infectious. And people are going to want to learn more about you, not just who you are as a professional, but who you are as a human. For example, Dedicated to the end user, I am passionate about creating simple, seamless online experiences that highlight the company offering. When people don't notice my work, I know I've done it well. 
Martin finds it incredibly motivating to use his analytics skills to advance medical company A's life-saving research. A strong believer in mental health awareness, Sally is passionate about media campaigns' potential impact on the way we think about and treat mental health. Now, for a more in-depth look at how to craft your professional bio or for additional tips on finding your why, click on this link right up here to learn more. So the fourth and final element in crafting your professional bio is the inclusion of personal details. So you're not expected to input any personal details into your professional bio if you don't want to. But I will tell you that any sort of personal detail that you do feel comfortable sharing, you can throw it in there as long as it's relevant to either the job that you're applying for or the message that you're wanting to communicate because it could add a really nice personal touch. So unless your bio is gonna be shared in a highly informal environment, it might just be best to make sure that you are sticking to any sort of detail that is relevant to the job that you're applying for or the company that you're applying for. So for example, if you're applying to be a school teacher and you have two kids who are currently in school, feel free to talk about that. Or if maybe you are a video game designer, it could be really fun to include your favorite childhood game in your bio so that whoever is reading it just gets to know you a little bit better. So whether or not you choose to include personal details into your professional bio, just make sure that you have a call of action at the end. This can be as simple as, to see more examples of my online portfolio, simply visit my profile on Indeed. All right, so now let's take a look at when we put all of this together, what it could sound like. John Sullivan is a human resources consultant with a decade of successful experience in hiring and employee management at Indeed.com. John specializes in HR tech, and he regularly speaks at national conferences about new tools for wellness, recruiting, and people analytics. Teams that implemented John's 2019 recommendations reported an increased employee happiness score by an average of 10 points. A strong believer in the power of positive thinking in the workplace, John is proud to contribute to improved efficiency and satisfaction company-wide. He has personally found great benefit in implementing wellness measures in his own life, including meditation and mountain biking. For more information about John and his work, please check out his professional website. So this bio strikes a really nice balanced tone because it identifies specific accomplishments that he wanted to address, but it also presents him as an inclusive, self-aware human being. And the last line provides an opportunity for people to follow up or a place where they can go find more information if they liked what they read. So if you're interested in examples of additional bios, click on this link right up here. We've got a ton of them for you to choose from. All right, so let's recap the four main elements of creating a really compelling professional bio. What you do, your why, your qualifications, and personal details about yourself. And remember my most important pro tip, consider your audience. All right, everyone, well, that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in, I really appreciate it. I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. We've got more videos for you. Other than that, though, we just wish you the best of luck. Happy writing. You got this.